how about we do a little blacksmithing today? I've got a fresh bag of coal and I think I'll fire up the forge and, and bring you guys along. I think you'll enjoy what uh, I've in store today. I am very fortunate to have a neighbor uh, that is quite an accomplished blacksmith and part of his business that he runs, he sells uh, coal that he imports from West Virginia, someplace down there. It's the good stuff. He sells 50 pound bags uh, for $25. <clears throat> and then for me, a 50 pound bag lasts a long time and I'm, I don't know where else I'd get it. You know, it's hard to find around here. The coal that we have in this area is of a very poor quality and not good for blacksmithing. But uh, this stuff seems to be really good. So those of you that may be joining me or joining the channel fairly recently and you haven't seen this because I haven't used it for some time, it's a, it's a blacksmith forge that's built out of a, a brake drum. So what I'm going to do is, is we'll get this started up and, and I'll, I'll kind of show it to you how it works. You can build these yourself for a little bit of nothing, but uh, this is just a brake drum. It's got a little plate that I put in there with some holes drilled in it and then I use a shop vac on the below feature uh, to, to stoke the fire. So we'll start a little fire in here with wood once we get it good and hot and then we'll start introducing the coal. So you start with coal which is looks kind of like this right here. You can see classic coal right there and the shiny and then that will smoke a little bit and then once you get it burnt down it'll turn into something that we call coke which is kind of right here is where the portion of the coal the impurities I think kind of burn out of it and it stops smoking and it gets real good and hot once it's run its course and, and it doesn't have much left you get these little pieces here which are called clinkers and clinkers uh, they don't do anything but basically just clog up your holes so as you're using your forge you kind of have to stir it up and kind of work these little guys out and and I'm just learning I'm not an accomplished blacksmith by any means but I'm just learning how to, to to use the forge and and how to burn properly is kind of an art in itself but uh, I'll just just kind of learn it as I go here so I'll show you the underneath of the forge and, and how it works so underneath the brake drum forge well where I set the brake drum, drum forge is in my big fabricating table I just cut a circle in it and then set that brake drum in there so this is plumbed down with some two inch water pipe. There's a T in there. And then this is the air intake that's just, just connected to, a, to an old shop vac that I turn on. So once I turn that on, it blows and puts oxygen into the, the forge and makes the coal hot. So this is not the best way to do it. I would dream someday of having a hand crank bellows or a proper bellows like, a, like you should, but I just haven't been able to find one yet. Um, but I'm always looking for one. So I've uh, put this um, gate on here to kind of control the airflow because the vacuum blows a little bit too much air and it gets the coal too hot and starts spitting out sparks. So what I've done, so as I'm working, since I can't control the vacuum, it's either on or off, I can simply reach down with my foot while I'm working because I need my hands free it, and I can control this. And it, what it is, is it basically just dumps the air out and redirects less up into the jets there on the forge. So that's how I, uh, that's how I kind of control it. Um, that was my, what best thing I could come up with. So to get our forge fired up, uh, we'll just start a little wood fire in there. I just, uh, just take some scraps of two by four and we'll chop some kindling here. So we got a little uh, sawdust there from our table saw, soaked in a bit of Girl Scout, Girl Scout juice, i.e. gasoline. And we'll build a little wood fire, get it going here nice and hot. Some coals established, then we'll introduce our coal. So while that wood's getting started, I'll take and I'll dump out some of my coal here. And 
And what I've kind of done is I just will make a perimeter of coal around the forge. And then as the fire picks up, I'll start introducing it into the edges. And as I need it, as I'm forging, I'll continue just to roll it in and add, add more and more. So I've been forging for about a half hour here or so, and uh, you can see here, here are the clinkers. These are at the bottom right there. These are the, it's the spent coal. It's not doing any, it's not doing any good. I want to get that out of there, and, and then we can uh, start rolling in some of this coke and work the edges in, stir this up a bit, get some new fuel going in there, and that will hit the air. good and hot and then I'll uh, we'll do our next piece here so I do not have very good blacksmithing tools or anvil or, or anything I'm just getting started in it kind of making do so I take a wire brush and and knock the scale off of it before we start. But we want to start start bending this down into that circle that we want. We can use the horn of the anvil a little bit here. Need to get some heat on it. If you've never tried blacksmithing, that's something that just about everyone can do. Even if you have a, a place in the city and a small garage or don't have a lot of property, you can build your own forge for scrounge parts. There's a lot of uh, great clubs you can get involved with. Um, a lot of local blacksmiths will be happy to teach you a thing or two. 
and a wonderful thing, wonderful skill to have, that's for sure. So I've got some vintage videos for you. Top left, I've got a blacksmithing video, one of my first ones, so Jack and I work on a project. Top right is a typical day on the homestead, and that's kind of a fun video I think you'll enjoy. Bottom left is one of my top 10 favorites, when Jack, uh, well, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that, but you should click on that one and watch it. I think that one, that one you really enjoy. Bottom right is a cordless drill hack. If you have an old cordless drill that doesn't work anymore, you can use it to charge batteries. Charge batteries uh, as basically a small hand crank generator. So kind of a cool project there. So look forward to part three of the Blacksmith series. Uh, we've got um, uh, some fun stuff coming up and um, a really beautiful project. So stay tuned for that. And if you would take a moment to click the thumbs up, I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.